Good morning. This is Chinta's RV Vegan Kitchen, but this morning we're going to do something a little different. This morning we're going to be exploring 12th Park RV uh, Resort and Tiny Home. And it's here in College Station. And it's well known for Texas A&M. And as we can see by the signs right here, Welcome students, 12th Park RV. I'm doing this just for the sake of y'all that want to come on out here for game night or whatever. One thing nice about 12th Park is that they do host the students and most of the uh, lots that they have in here that are around the edges, right up here near the fence, all the way around. I think there's 99 spaces. This pa this place is packed during uh, game night. They actually host a van that will take everybody to game night over at the Texas A&M studio. So here's the sign for reservations. And we're just going to take a walk around the park if this will last and let you see what everything looks like. I hope my battery will last. When I first turned it on, it said I had plenty of power, so... Within the park here, we have uh, two dumpsters. One at either side of the park. And... We have pull-throughs. Our pull-throughs are set up for both 50 amp and 30 amp and they have really good rates here comparably and everything's paved everything's cement which makes it really great plenty of room for all your big rigs to come through it goes all the way to the back this is about I want to say three and a half to four miles from Texas A&M University itself so a lot of people can pull in here and get it for the whole semester and then not have to worry about being in a dorm room. There are a lot of features here at this park and like I said I hope this battery lasts. Maybe it won't. For families we have a dog run and they do ask that you please pick up your dog stools. There's a little dump station just right here. Okay, so as we continue here, we have, that's one of the dumpsters. Here's the little sign to remind everybody to please pick up after your dog. You know. And out here, you can see I'll, I'll take you there in a second, but let's head on over to the clubhouse. There's no pool here, but they do intend on putting one in next year. And this goes all the way back. It beckons to a, a little farm on the one end, and you can actually see horses in the field out there, which is kind of pretty. Okay, we have some swing sets right here. Just a couple of swings. And we have an outdoor patio. And I'll show you all the interior things in a minute. Good morning! And we have picnic tables and, oh, they took the outdoor TV down. And here's barbecue grill. And this is the open area where they do intend to install a pool next next spring. Over here we have just recently put in a volleyball court with it's a new sand court to play in for the Texas A&M students 
And we have a picnic area that does have little lights that come on in the evening or a place for children. So let's go back through, pardon the tree, and we will take a look at the interior of the clubhouse. I meant to do this earlier before people got here. When you stay here during the winter, they actually do sell propane tanks. And it does get cold during the winter. The management here is very nice. The manager's name is Nancy. Let's see how long my battery lasts. <laughs> and this is the clubhouse. There is a park code, but usually on game night they leave it unlocked. Let me try to turn this on. There we go. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but we have a nice big room. It's always beautiful and clean. We have a pool table. We have a television. We have a little air hockey shuffleboard type of game. And then of course there's snacks and a quarter machine. We have a dartboard for those who are skilled. And they have plenty of tables for folks that want to schedule a party. Here we have brochures for all the various uh, activities and events around that you can get. And a really nice large map it shows you how the park is laid out along with the pull throughs and the back ends. And up in this corner up here, number 38, there's actually a log cabin that can only be rented through Texas A&M. And it's only rented for the weekends. For those who actually come and stay, there's a free mug. That's a really nice touch. Small coffee bar. And here we have a very small living room type of setup for folks that want to sit and watch the television in nice cool air conditioning. Long-termers actually get their own mail slots. That's really convenient. Management office is in here. I have a full-size refrigerator and kitchenette. And sometimes, sometimes, she makes pop coffee, I mean popcorn. The very nice, beautiful uh, room. And I hope everything comes out. Now let's go check out the bathrooms and the laundry room. Okay, once again, we're out here. Hi. Good morning. And there's one, two. These two right here are showers. I'll show you what those look like. You only need to put in the park code. The bathrooms are roomy and she keeps them nice and clean. Okay. And these are the ones that have the showers, which work really great. But that one's in use. That one looks like it's in use. Very nice showers. And here we have the laundry room. I'll show you the laundry room. Put in the cart park code. Okay, here we go with the laundry room. Turn on the lights. There's two washing machines and two dryers. We have a little newer version of washer and dryer here and a little older version. And behind me there's a little place to sit and wait and a table to fold clothes. And their bulletin board. And this is cool because you've got all kinds of people posting their ads for their cards anywhere from detailing of mobile homes to mobile home repair and various types of uh, things. Okay, let's go take a look at the, the mini at the mini uh, 
trailer in the back. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to walk all the way around. Good morning! We'll walk all the way around. And if this doesn't turn out, then I'll probably be redoing it in the morning. I'm trying to think what else I can tell you. It's a really good uh, park. There is a curfew at 10 o'clock so that everybody can turn off their music. Just out of respect, people don't want to be too loud anyway. There are some family people that come in and out, but the majority of the people here have something to do with Texas A&M. Like I said, the whole campus is right down the street. It has a huge stadium. I mean, it's like looking at the 